Hello and welcome. I'm Ted Barley, a senior technical marketing engineer here at F5. And today I want to talk to you about F5's distributed cloud and cross-site request forgery protection, also known as CSRF. But first, I'm going to talk about F5's distributed cloud console and the application security as a service in general. In the past, I've covered bot defense, DDoS mitigation, and today I'm going to cover web application firewall and how to configure that firewall for cross-site scripting. For those not familiar, I've included OWASP's definition of cross-site request forgery attack. What I'd like to point out is F5's implementation of this feature in our WAP product on the right. Three bullet points. Right, state changing requests, posts and puts. You're gonna need source or referrer headers present and comparing their values. And if the source origin is missing or the origins do not match, the request is rejected. And I'll demonstrate this in the demo. Okay, it's time to begin. Let's switch to our browser. We're gonna log in to the portal. We're gonna verify we're on the home page. We go down to load balancers and we've seen this before. I already have some load bouncer set up. I'm going to verify the correct namespace. Then I'm going to move over to the three ellipses on the right of the load bouncer I want to configure. This is the general configuration page showing one domain. We're going to edit this configuration. And before I go into the configuration, I wanted to explain the domains and load bouncer type. Here we have one load bouncer with one domain. Just as easily, we could have this single load balancer hosting multiple domains. And I'm going to show the configuration of protected domains on a later screen. But continuing, let's scroll down to the web application firewall section. You'll see multiple sections of security. And you'll notice the cross-site request forgery protection is not configured. So click the configuration. Here's where the domains come in. You're going to protect all domains or specified domains. In my example, I'm going to use specified domains. I'm going to save and then save and exit. And we're completely configured and protected against cross site request forgery. And here we go back and verify our configuration is now configured. Now, switching gears, we're going to do a few curl commands. We got a 403 forbidden if you don't have the proper origin or refer or an approved one. Or if it's missing, you're also going to get a 403 forbidden. Then what I do at the end is just show real quickly a properly configured curl command and you're going to get a 200 approved with the web page return. Now switching back to the load balancer dashboard, we're going to look at the Load Balancer, we're going to switch from Performance Monitoring to Security Monitoring. And you're going to notice we have the security events that we just generated by those curl commands when they were blocked. If you switch to Security Events at the top, you're going to see them in a different view. And then each of the requests will be noted in the logs. So you can see the 403 Forbiddens and the 200s that were returned from my terminal window. That concludes this video of how to easily protect your web applications from cross-site request forgeries with F5's distributed cloud WAP product. I hope you found this informative and valuable and look forward to seeing you on the next one.